So today we will be learning about hypothesis testing lab annual 8. So there are two types of hypothesis testing. The first one is null hypothesis and the second one is alternative hypothesis. Null hypothesis is denoted by H0 which contains the symbol called as equal to whereas alternative hypothesis is denoted by H1 which contains three symbols that is greater than less than and not equal to so for example i have this expression one is equal to two this is completely wrong right so how do we tell this in a statistical way we say that we are rejecting null hypothesis because one is not equal to two suppose if one is equal to one then we say fail to reject null hypothesis so this is how you conclude these statements you know statistic way now let me go into the assignment question so in this assignment we have two parts one is first part will be testing the following hypothesis for the proportions using a given significance level and for the second part we will test the following hypothesis for the mean so i will be teaching you one a and you will have to do the rest of the questions by yourself okay so for that so 1a tells that you have to test the claim that the proportion of hispanics is greater than 50 percent for that it tells us to recode so i will tell you how to do that go to gmp and open your subset of small town okay so hispanics is under this column which is called as race right so first we have to recode it so how do i do that so go to this option select this before that select race click on this tool and go to recode okay click on this and go to recode now recode is nothing but when you have one or more than two raises in one column we have to group them to one raise so how do i how do we do that for that i have h over here so this is h hispanics leave it like that and now there are two other raises called as b and w i will be grouping these two into one group so let me tell that it is non-hispanic so we know by h which is nothing but non Hispanics. So this is also in it now. Now go ahead and click this recode. Now can you see there is a new column called as race 2 which contains only Hispanics and non Hispanics. There are only two groups in race 2. So this is how we do the recode. Now what do we have to do is go to analyze distribution raise to y columns okay so you get your histogram here huh. so click on this display option horizontal layout have frequencies now i need test probability okay so now the hypothesis probability is 0.5 50% in decimals we call it as 0.5 and what is the question given we have to claim that it is greater than 50% so what you have to choose here is probability greater than hypothesis value so go ahead and click this then you get your p value here okay so this is what you have to do for the first part and let me show in the assignment this is how your word file should look like first when you see your these are the questions you have to answer first you have to write your null and alternative hypothesis then you have to show your p-value and then you have to conclude in statistical and plain english okay and then you have to verify the validity of every test by checking the requirements. So these are the questions you are going to answer. 
so for the first part we'll be checking only this for proportions because the first part is only about proportions second part is about mean so we'll be doing only this part okay fine so now have this word file have the first part now you have to write your null and our alternative hypothesis in this way got it null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis so these are the given data alpha significance level is given recode is nothing but you are grouping the uh, two groups into one group that is others or nh whatever it is now you are going to test it so you are going to test it according based on the hypothesis value what is your hypothesis value 50 percent which is given in the question we call it as 0.5 or 50 percent now what what should you have to find out is first you have to write in this way okay null hypothesis alternative hypothesis next you have to find the p-value and then only you can conclude the statement so how do you find your p-value so you will get your p-value here so that's that is why i i did this test probability so after you do this you get the p-value this is your p-value 0 0.0283 this p-value if this p-value is less than the alpha which is my alpha now got it if the p value is less than or equal to alpha then you are going to reject null hypothesis if the p value is greater than alpha fail to reject null hypothesis so alpha in the given question is 0 0.05 and my p value is 0 0.0283 right so clearly says that we are rejecting null hypothesis that is what you have to conclude here so statistical conclusion you got your p-value statistical conclusion is since p-value is less than alpha which is significance level reject null hypothesis h naught then how do you conclude in the plain english there is enough evidence to support the claim that the proportion of hispanics is greater than 50 percent so if you are rejecting the null hypothesis then you have to support the statement now what is my next question so I, I wrote my null and alternative hypothesis. I found the p-value. Then I concluded the statement. So what is my next thing is to check this proportion and mean. So proportion is only for the part one and mean is only for the second part. Got it? So let me go and do that now. Okay. So how do you find out? Is. so when you are verifying the proportions you have to verify that np and nq should be greater than or equal to 5 so you can do that directly in the graph so when you say these frequencies these count values must be greater than or equal to 5 okay if if those are equal to 5 then we see the test is valid the frequencies for both H and O or else NH so I say non-Hispanics as others so if you if you can use non-Hispanics or others both are same so the frequencies for both H and O is greater than 5 so therefore the test is valid so this is how you conclude the part 1 and now we will go to part 2 you have to do the rest of the equations and part two is you are going to test the following hypothesis for the mean using a significance level of alpha which is equal to 0 0.05 got it so now i will be doing this test the claim that the mean salary for female is less than thirty thousand dollars okay so let me do that go to your gmp subset okay and now you can open your new subset also go to gmp okay. 
Now this is your subset. This is how your subset looks like. Now I have to do for two variables. Can you see salary and females? Females belongs to which group? It belongs to the column called assets. So we will be dealing with these two columns it's and salary. So you have to plot graphs for both the variables. Now go to analyze distribution sex by and then salary by column okay got it and now go ahead and display it in the horizontal layout this should also be in horizontal layout so we'll be dealing only with the first part that is females because that is what the question is asked for and now what else do you need first go to salary and plot this normal quantile plot you'll be needing it later and now i'll be testing me test me what is this specify hypothesis to me what is that it is thirty thousand, which is given in the question so hypothesis to mean or hypothesis value will be given in the question so just enter that you don't have to enter anything in this box just click ok you get your p value got it this is how you do your p value so for the first part how did you find out the p value so for the first part you will be choosing this option and over here, you will be getting test probability. You will not get this. You will not get for the when there is two variables. You 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 don't have to do the test probability. What you have to do is test mean. That is how you find out the p values over here. Now, how do you choose your p values? Because there are three values now. So just good question. Now, just read the question again. It says test test the claim that the mean salary for females is less than thirty thousand dollars right less is the keyword for choosing the p-value so here now choose a p-value using that symbol called as less probability less than t so this is my p-value now 0 0.0070 is the p-value got it now you found your p-value so that is what you need for the part 2. You have to write your null and alternative hypothesis, compute and show your p-values. This is how you do that. You got your p-value and if the p-value is less than alpha, what do you conclude? You say that you are rejecting null hypothesis and you have to support the claim. Got it? Support the claim that the mean salary for females is less than $30,000. Now, you have to do the validity check so you don't have to do the proportion test for this you have to do only the mean test for the mean you have to verify that n is greater than 30 or n is less than 30 so what you have to do that what you have to do is you have to paste this test mean this column in the word file and you have to check there is one more called as summary statistics in the graph so this is your summary statistics that is how you find your n value here this is your n value okay so my n is equal to 49 which is greater than 30 okay if n is greater than 30 then you have to check for normality got to check whether the variable is normally distributed or not and you have to conclude the statement then so this is your lab manual a hypothesis testing and your word file should look exactly the same way so this is how the format of the word file should look like so just go through the video i think this this is enough for you to complete your assignment if you have any question feel free to email me and i can do a webex meeting with you all thank you